My name is Dr. Teo in the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at Mayo Clinic. I have a special interest in management of the patients with fibromyalgia. The study I'm going to discuss today is relationship of age with symptom severity and quality of life in patients with fibromyalgia. This study will be published on upcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Fibromyalgia is a symptom complex characterized by widespread chronic pain and the condition negatively affects quality of life. We examined relationship of age with symptom severity and quality of life in a large clinical sample of patients seen in the fibromyalgia treatment program at Mayo Clinic. We also compared quality of life of our female patients with the U.S. female general population to see how their quality of life differs from the general population. And we had 978 patients and divide them into three age groups of young, middle-aged, and older age groups. And this study provided us with three main findings. First, their symptom severity and quality of life varies across the age groups. Second, we observed worse symptom severity and quality of life in the young and middle-aged patients compared to the older patients. Third, when we compared quality of life of our female patients with the U.S. female general population, their quality of life was reduced in all age groups in both physical and mental health, more prominent reduction in physical health than mental health, particularly in the young patients. The quality of life in physical health in the general population has been reported to be negatively associated with age. That means that younger population reports higher physical health than older population. However, our findings showed opposite results that quality of life in physical health in our patient was highest in the older patients and the lowest in the younger pa young patients. So the reasons why um, were symptoms and quality of life was reported by young and middle-aged patients compared to the older patients are not clear. However, it might be related to perception of their age-related expectation. Younger patients are expected to be healthy and engaged in active lifestyle and less likely experience pain and various symptoms of fibromyalgia. Therefore, they may view their health as more impaired and report more interference with their life. On the other hand, older patients may expect decline in their health and consider their symptoms and health as a consequence of getting older. So they may view their health you know, symptoms as less impacted by fibromyalgia. We observed reduced quality of life in both physical and mental health in our patients compared to the general population. And it was more reduced in physical health than mental health, particularly in young patients. We have been recommending aerobic exercise as an important treatment for fibromyalgia. And our study shows that it is indeed 
very important for our patients to do exercise regularly and increase their physical activity to optimize their quality of life. Exercise should be an important component of fibromyalgia treatment program for every patient. There are many fibromyalgia studies looking at treatment response to multiple treatment modalities. Aerobic exercise has shown to be helpful consistently and evidence-based treatment guidelines for fibromyalgia recommends non-pharmacologic treatment as the first treatment recommendation with emphasis on aerobic exercise along with cognitive behavioral therapy. Our study shows why exercise is one of most important treatment modality and shows that indeed patients should do exercise on a regular basis to improve their quality of life. We have identified age as one of factors associated with symptom severity and quality of life in the patients with fibromyalgia. Based on this observation, we should be able to provide a patient-tailored treatment program and assess their response prospectively. We should also try to quantify their treatment response to multiple treatment modalities according to age groups and see how these age groups respond to treatment. It will be an interesting and fruitful step for the patients with fibromyalgia. Thank you for listening. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.